Hi, and Lady Esther here. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about beauty, skincare, and deep thoughts. Today I'm going to be talking about essences today. If you're interested in this, please stick around. Hello everybody. I hope today finds you well, healthy, and safe. So today I'm going to be talking about essences. And I have about 11, um, but I'm using the terms essence, toner, and lotion kind of interchangeably. Um, I think toner is usually to balance the pH, but um, so but some of the thing some of the products that say tone toner they seem to me more like an essence. But anyway, so we're gonna start with let's see um, one two three four four. The first four products we're gonna start with is K Beauty or Korean Beauty, and so number one. I have here is the Cause de Baja Niacinamide Facial Toner. And this, I got it on Amazon. So I will leave links in the box below. So I got this on Amazon. It has niacinamide, pan de panthenol, and it says facial skin calming toner. Oil free, alcohol free, soothing toner. Skin pH level balancing toner to pH 5.5 watery toner for cleansing facial skin first step to effective skin care so like a toner essence or a lotion you use it after you wash your face with cleanser so this doesn't have any fragrance and this essence is a little bit thicker than water it feels you know slip and moisturizing no I don't smell any fragrance so I'm just going to go through these rather somewhat quickly. 200 milliliters, 6.76 6 flow ounces. So I got this from a YouTube recommended these three prod products of another YouTuber. I think it was L. Leary. So I like this one. So I'll use, sometimes I use the three together. So this one you just pour out. But the, what I like about this next one is it has a little pump. And this is Galactomyces 95 Tone Balancing Essence from Cause RX. Also on um, Amazon. 100 milliliters, 3.3 flow ounces. Let me see if I can show you. So this is thicker. This is even thicker than the last one. It's very slip, slippery feeling, moisturizing. Nice. I'm going to have essences all over my hand. I should get an extra towel for this. Okay, I'm back. So I got a, you know, washcloth towel. So the Galactamites, and then this last one is the Giving Essence by Then I Met You. And it's 100 milliliters, 3.38 flow ounces. I think of the three I mentioned just now, I think this one is the most, is more money. Not, it's a little bit more money, but not like in a real expensive range. So this has black choke berry galactomyces, the same thing as the former essence. Oh my gosh, hard to pronounce. Elo, Ella. Chick acid, red algae, deeply nourish and hydrate. Gentle for daily use after cleansing and toning. So now this one says after cleansing and toning. So so they're, they're distinguishing a toner. You would use the toner and then this. Some, you know, I, some skincare routines have many, many steps. So I wanted to show you what this looks like. No real fragrance but if you can see this I don't know if you can see this it has it's a little bit um, pink pink color to it and it's a little bit thicker than water so I do I recommend all of these products 
as you know they're good products affordable products I would say I don't know I like layering them on my face but you don't have to you can just use one so then okay so this is the most expensive pricey uh, K Beauty well now this is says Bloomstay Vitalizing Water from Sawasu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. But I got a sample of this, I think, from Beautylish. I think it was a Beautylish sample. And then I liked it because it smells like um, like roses. So this has a rose scent, but it's very pleasant. It's not strong. And then the other thing I liked about this is that this is this is very thick. It's a very, it's, well, I wouldn't say very thick. It's a, it's thicker for um, an essence. Because that's one of the things I have a hard time with essences is, you know, a lot of them are like water. And it's really hard to put that on your hands and then put it on your face. So that was that one. Let's see, how many ounces does that one have? 5.07 flow ounces or 150 um, milliliters and this you would purchase this um, Nordstrom um, Nordstrom and I think and Beautylish but and then this then I met you they have their own website you would purchase that from and then the first two you just purchase them on Amazon um, so now we're gonna get up to a, a quite a more pricey product and this is J Beauty, Japanese Beauty. Yes, it's the Clay de Po Lotion, Hydro Softening Lotion. So that's what they call this, but I don't know. To me, they're kind of similar: essence, lotion, toner. So very runny. And so the thing about the Clay de Po is it's a good product. I I love it, but it's more highly fragranced and so it took me a time it took me a while to get to get used to the fragrance but for my when I put that's my go-to uh, skincare routine is using clay de po three-step products the um, serum the lotion and the the moisturizer with SPF and then I put my foundation on and that's been working the best for me for now. So this is 170 milliliters or 5.7 flow ounces and you can get this at department stores Nordstrom, Saks Fifth Avenue, you know mainly many of those department stores or the Clay de Po website and um, so I recommend this product it is very expensive so I'm going to try to go faster. Um, so this was a product because uh, I wanted to try Wander Beauty. And this is what I love the most is that Wander Beauty has what they call a essence and toner in one. But it's like a two part. You have to shake it up. But it's a mist. Let me spray it over here. You see that? I think that's brilliant. I I like the mister. So this is 80 milliliters, 2.7 flow ounce from Wonder Beauty. And this has, um, this also has niacinamide and it has some type of oil. Camellia oil, japonica seed oil. And oh my goodness, I can't, I can't read it. Anyway, I recommend this mist connection essence and toner from wonder beauty so there's that that's the only one that has a spray okay so now we'll get into another brand colleen rothschild and this is micro mineral soothing toner and this is 200 milliliters or 6.8 ounces this is probably the biggest one this is mm, I'd say the medium affordable range. This is not cheap, but not too expensive. And so then, I don't know if I really like the container. So then you just have that, 
and it's just one of these that you um, just push up and then it's thick see it's thicker it's almost like a lotion it's very hydrating moisturizing so depending on what my skin needs I'll pick which one to use so this one says and I've talked about this before micro mineral mineral soothing toner gently softens restores and conditions sensitive or irritated skin with the power of natural crystals and hydrating humectants skin will feel calm balance and prep for your next skin skin care step so this is the one I like. Originally I bought two. There's a green tea one, but I think the green tea one is more for oily skin and this is, I believe, more for dry skin. So, and here's another product I talked about, the Guerlain. Lotion Nectar, Honey Nectar Smoothing Lotion, smir fir Firming smooth Smoothing. There is no, they don't put the ounces on this side. 150 milliliters, five, Flow ounce, and this is the LBL Royal, and this is more pricey. You would buy this at a department store in Nordstrom's, Saks Fifth Avenue, someplace like that online, of course. So, I just wanted to try it, and I talked about this before, which I will use this up. It's heavily perfumed. It smells good. It smells like sweet honey, yet heavily perfumed and it's a little bit sticky tacky and I tried to work do the system the skincare system during the day and put my makeup on I didn't really like it it's too sticky so all these products with this brand I would or but in the skincare line I would just use in the evenings so I don't I can't I don't really recommend this one but if you wanted to try it, you can. Okay, so here's one of the most expensive ones that I don't, hmm, I don't, I don't really recommend this one either. You could try it if you want. It's very pricey. The Sublimage La Supreme Lotion from Chanel. This is 125 milliliters, 4.2 ounces. It's very expensive. I believe that this has I'm not 100% sure, but I believe it has alcohol in it. It has the regular sublimage fragrance, which is pleasant, but if you are sensitive to ingredients or alcohol, you know, I don't recommend it. So you would put this on a cotton pad and after your cleansing, put on a cotton pad and then follow this up with um, your moisturizer. So this just had the cap and then you just dump it out. So going to use this up. Will not be repurchasing purchasing that. Um, okay, I'm going to save the one that I like the most for last. Okay, so here is one I'm still working my way through. The LeBlanc Essence Lotion Healthy Light Creator. Also from Chanel. 150 milliliters, 5 flow ounces and it's still runny, it's a little bit thicker, still, oh, where did it go? Oh my goodness, it went on the back of my, okay, I got, I got everything all over the place. It smells really good. It, the fragrance, it's, it is fragrance, it's very pleasant, and it, this is very, it's more for like, being like um, bouncing light off your skin to have it look a certain way or glowy or something but it's very hydrating it doesn't talk about hydration in what I've read but it's you know very hydrating you could just use that but I always need to have a moisturizer so this one yes I do recommend if you want to try this but again these products at least these two Chanel products are a little bit pricey. So now, this is one I do, I think that is a really good, affordable, and I like it. It's the Hydra Beauty Lotion 
from Chanel, and I believe this is like $45. This is the only price I've really mentioned, but I believe that this one is definitely worth that. It's 150 milliliters, five flow ounces, and let's see, it's, what does it say? Moisturizing and protecting gel lotion for face. Comfortable, plumped, radiant skin. And I, the other thing I love about this is I just love the pumps. I think that they're, and look at that. See how, that, how thick that it is? I mean, they call it a lotion, but I believe that they said it's actually a toner. Does not, it doesn't seem like there's any alcohol in it. It's very moisturizing. Um, this one, I would say this one sinks into the skin more than the healthy, the um, LeBlanc Healthy Light Creator. I feel like this one sinks into your skin more. The Healthy Light Creator Essence Lotion kind of leaves, I don't know if I'd use the word film. Could use the word film, coating. It kind of, you know, it moisturizes kind of the coating or whatever it does is seems like it's more on the surface of the skin that doesn't seem like it penetrates as deep into the skin according to my opinion so I, I think this one feels like it like seeps into your skin more so I guess that's it for the essence toners lotions whatever you want to call it so those were the 11 that I have, and some of them I will repurchase, some of them I won't. So, let's see, what is my, which one is my favorite one? Hmm, it's a hard, that's hard to choose. I like all the, I like the K, K Beauty and J Beauty. Um, I like the Clay de Poe, except for the fragrance. I mean, it does, they all do what they're supposed to do um, except for I don't really like a lot of heavy fragrance Th this would be still good if they didn't put the fragrance in but I've kind of gotten used to it so and I this one is a favorite because it's a mister love that anyway if you have any questions Feel free to leave them in the box below and I'll try to answer the questions. I will work on putting all the links to these products. And oh, the other thing I want to say before I say goodbye is that um, I just talk about products just to share and share and talk about the products. You know, I don't really have any interest in selling products because have conversations with a lot of people about this. I, I'm not a salesperson. I don't like selling things at all. I like to talk. I do. If I had someone to actually talk to, that would be nice. Anyway, so I hope you guys are doing well. And you know, actually, you know, because I my channel is so small. Really, if you have a question, ask me a question. If you want to do an ask me a question video. What do you call those videos? Assumptions about me. That would be fun if you guys want to write down some assumptions about me and then I will answer your questions. I think that would be really fun. Um, oh, and I like trivia too. I'm not good in math though. Aldra. I know some random facts which I think is fun. I think that's why I like trivia. Anyway, I'm just rambling here. I hope this was fun for you. And if you like this video, please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and be sure and hit the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.